Here's a Canon R5 on uh, the Ulanzi and Komen tripod, the travel tripod, just got it. Here's the case it came in, and this is the tripod here. This is just the head, but uh, the rest of it is like right here. I have it, I have it up already. I read a lot of good things about this travel tripod. A lot of the reviews that I've read, they appear true. It's really great, lightweight travel tripod, very sturdy, a lot of features, but I haven't heard any negatives really about it. So I'm gonna talk of a few things that I am having issues with, uh, with the head, not so much the legs, and then I'll briefly just compare it to my my favorite travel tripod at the moment. The Suri, this is the ST125, but it, I have a video tripod head. This is the VA5 head. This one has ball mount. This one right here, the Suri, has been the best travel tripod I've owned so far. I've had this for maybe a year now. But before I get into this comparison, let's look at the thing that I don't like about, or a few things that I don't like about this travel tripod's head here. Now I know there's another version of this tripod with a snap, a snap base. This one is the one you screw in here. So what I am having trouble with, with this head here is that once it's on, it's pretty sturdy. But to get it on, unscrew here. I, I don't really like the plate that they have here. This was kind of uh, an issue of screwing this on and off my camera. Maybe this is just meant for much smaller cameras, but this is Canon R5 with a EF 50 mil. Just to get the plate on was an issue, but let's just say the plate is always gonna be on there. And then to put this on here, you can see down here how close the tightening knob is to the bottom of the camera. So it's really hard to get in there and to tighten it. And then here, this knob right here loosens the pan and tilt. And this knob is also not only close to the camera, but it's also close to the release of the ball mount, which is this knob here. When you undo that one, you can have full articulation of the ball mount but then you can see the knobs here, they're really close together. And it's just a very tight fit that if I was out in the field, this might get to me. This might be too much to handle to get accurate or it might fall. So maybe the newer design with the snap and filter fix the problem that has these two knobs so close to the camera, but I've been having an issue with it it's not a huge issue, but it's been taking, it takes a little longer to, to get this correct. And the last problem I'm having with it is that I do like the, the fully articulating ball mount here. I like that. But then there's nothing to really level this camera when you have it up or when you bring it down. And I'll show you when I lower the camera here. There's another knob here and that lowers that down there. I don't have any levelers to know that this is level. I just lock it in here and it's hard to see if this is level. So I would need a leveler. I would need to use the camera's leveler or I need to have a bubble mount, but it's just really hard. Um, not really hard. It's annoying that I have to do this every single time to lock in a straight horizon if I wanted that. But other than that, everything else about this tripod is pretty awesome. I'm very happy with it so far, especially compared to the Peak Design, which I almost bought. Major selling factor of this tripod is the girth of it once you collapse everything and it fits in the side pocket of a backpack. And it's really light. I, I, I prefer these latches over the twisty knobs that the Suri has. Now to compare, Here's the Suri. Suri's bigger and heavier, mostly due to the head that's on here, which is meant for video. But I, I really like the Suri. I, I, I just like the, even though these are twist knobs and I prefer the latches, these, are, these feel more like a sturdier tripod than this Ulanzi. 
But again, the Ulanzi is lighter and it feels more durable. I'm keeping both. I use them for different applications. The Ulanzi uh, and Komen is going to be mostly just for my photography. And then this Suri here with the VA5 head is going to be for my video. And you know what the price of both of these combined? I think it's the same price as getting one of the Peak Designs with the carbon fiber. So if you're in the market for multiple tripods, travel tripods that are sturdy, one for video, one for video, one for stills, get these two instead of the Peak Design.